G'day and welcome to another video with BetterPix. Hope this finds everyone well. Today I wanted to create a video around using the crop tool in Adobe Camera Raw. Uh, there have been some um, changes with the recent versions. Just wanted to highlight a few of the features of the crop tool and where you might find some of those tools. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. All right, so up on the right hand side here, we uh, under the edit module, which is uh, shortcut E, we can see we have the crop and rotate tool, which is shortcut C, same as uh, previous, previous versions. So you can see as soon as I click on the crop tool, it uh, brings up um, uh, the overlay, uh, which splits it into nine even segments, so three by three, uh, which we would be used to. If we have a look firstly, just at the, um, uh, the box or the dialog box options on the right hand side here, just under the histogram, you can see that there's a number of options. Um, Firstly, I'm just going to quickly click and drag the crop tool and you can see to the right, uh, the reset crop option uh, becomes highlighted and clickable. So if you just click that, it's going to take us back to the original uh, full size of the image. Now, just underneath, you can see there's aspect ratio uh, and we have as shot, original, custom and a few presets there. So custom means that we can just basically click and drag that crop in any way that we want to. Again, reset just to the right of the crop title there. Uh, if we sit at a shot, then it's going to constrain um, the uh, uh, ratio of the crop tool um, to the original image, which in this case is a normal shaped image. So two by three or four by six. Uh, if we go back to original, it's going to also do the same. And if we go to custom, again, this is going to change so that it's completely flexible to crop it in any ratio or shape uh, that we prefer. Again, reset crop just to the right there. Now, what we can also do is rotate uh, the aspect ratio. So at the moment, you can see that the aspect ratio is horizontal or landscape. If we rotate that, then the aspect ratio will change over to a vertical exactly the same as if you start with a vertical image and you want to rotate it to horizontal uh, and you can see there that the shortcut is X so you can either click on that uh, icon or use the shortcut now constraint aspect ratio alt a is the shortcut for this one so that means that uh, the ratio which at the moment is two is to three um, is going to be locked so uh, that's just a useful tool if you want to now with the angle just below this is for rotating if you have a crooked horizon or if you want to make a horizon crooked um, there's heaps of options there you can rotate it in any way that you want uh, there we go and we can change the shape of that crop in any way that we want to as well. Uh, again, we can reset the crop there. We also have the straighten tool, which the shortcut is still A from previous versions, where we can click and drag across any line, in this case the horizon, and straighten the image. My actual shooting of the horizon was fairly straight this time, but you probably did notice that there was a slight adjustment there, so it was a little bit crooked. Um, and it actually gives you the angle. Uh, um, uh, in that little uh, information box to the left of the straighten tool. Uh, I really like the straighten tool. I find it's a great way to quickly get uh, buildings or horizons nice and straight. Um, obviously the angle is there as well if you would like to do that. And we're just going to hit rotate, uh, sorry, reset crop there again. All right, so just then below that option is the rotate and flip. And this is to simply rotate the image in either a counterclockwise or a clockwise manner. Uh, you can still use L and R for left and right. Um, as a shortcut for rotating the image, which is nice and handy. You can also flip the image 180 degrees in the opposite direction if you want, using that third from the left uh, little icon there. And you can also flip it upside down if you want as well. So plenty of options there for rotating and flipping your image, if that is an option that you would like to look at. Now, if we right click, I'm just gonna have the crop tool hovering over the image at the moment. And if we right click, you can see that um, it gives us a bunch of options, some of which are available on the right hand side under the crop tool dialog box there, but we have a new dialog box that pops up. Uh, you can see obviously we can reset crop, crop is shot, aspect ratio, uh, same or similar options, um, actually the same options that we see in the dialog box over on the right hand side here. 
uh, rotate aspect ratio. Uh, so again, the shortcut there is X if you want to rotate the crop from a landscape to a vertical. Uh, constrain aspect ratio and constrain to image. Um, uh, same uh, options that we found over here on the right hand side. Now what we do have also uh, by right clicking on the image itself with the crop tool is you have some options around the crop mask. At the moment it's uh, set to 80% which is what it defaults to. You can have 100%. I'm just going to actually drag that in so you can see. Uh, so what that means is when you have it to 100% when you crop in you're not seeing the rest of the image as it was. If we go 80%, you can see that it's showing uh, other parts of the image. 50% is just changing that opacity of the outer part. Um, I'd probably just keep it to 80%, but obviously the option is there for you to make that decision, uh, depending on what you want to do. Um, also, there's uh, some options to show overlay, which you can get rid of that if you want. Uh, I do find it handy just to have those uh, 3 by 3 um, overlay uh, markings to uh, to help with my cropping uh, but you do have uh, the option to change your overlay style as well and you can see you can cycle through the crop overlay by using alt V which I'm going to do now so if we just uh Get rid of that dialog box and click Alt V. You can see that there's various options with the overlay. Just going to go back to crop there. Alt V. Uh, you see there's various versions or options when it comes to the overlay. Um, I'm cycling through those a couple of times so you can have a look at them. Um, again, if you right click, you can look at the over overlay style. Defaults to thirds, uh, which is normally, as I mentioned, the one that I use. Uh, however, there are loads of options there for you to use as your heart is content. Over, um, sorry, I'll just click right, uh, right click again, and again we can reset crop back to the original full size of the image. There's plenty of options within the crop tool and uh, some new features in there to help your process and workflow. Um, in terms of resizing the image, remember cropping is merely changing the shape. It is resizing the image if you crop out some of those pixels. Uh, but uh, if you're resizing the image or you want to set the image size to a specific amount, uh, you can do that through the save feature. Or just down the bottom here, you can also resize the image um, if you're opening directly into Photoshop. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and hope that you are experimenting with some of the features in the crop tool. There's plenty there to help your workflow and process. I hope this video has helped you to understand a few of those a little bit more and uh, look forward to seeing you again in the future. Keep in mind if you have any questions, please pop them in the comments below. Otherwise, look forward to seeing you again. Take care.